Last night's big event, of course, was the vice presidential candidate, Paul Ryan. We are told about 22 million people watched him, and he stopped by here to see us not long ago. So last night, tell me what Mrs. Ryan said when you came up off the stage or she came on. Uh, I just said, Mom, I love you very much. Hope you don't mind. I talked to you about you a little bit. She, she was great. She was a game. She was very proud. And Jana was just, you know, excited for me. And we saw, we saw some, was it Sam? We saw somebody who was past his bedtime. That was Sam. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it was 11 o'clock. I mean, he, he goes to bed at 8. <laughs> right. But for Sam, this was really late for him. Oh, uh, that's a big, such yeah, a big night. He slept in a lot this morning. We are sitting here looking at the duck clock over there, which, yeah. is it going to go over 16 tonight? Uh, I, I can't see that well, <laughs> so I don't know. I guess can? I have to squint pretty hard to see it. Uh, I don't know. Let's see at the pace we're on. It's 15983. Yeah, we'll see how fast it's moving. What about talking about very big, specific cuts? Because I read in Time magazine that the governor, when asked about specific big cuts, uh, said the Democrats would love to have specifics on cuts so that, that they can mass special interests to fight them. He didn't give them. Well, he said a 5% cut in disc basic discretionary spending, domestic but discretionary on, spending. On what? On what? Well, that's, that's government agency budgets. So he's saying 5% for government agency. But do you expect to get more specific about more beyond the government bureaucracy, to get more specific about the big cuts beyond the government Mitt bureaucracy? Mitt Romney's been more specific on what it's going to take to prevent a debt crisis, on solutions to get people back to work than anybody else running for president, including the president himself. We pulled a couple of pictures. Oh, gosh. Let because me see. this is the room. Now, I don't this think there's a mullet involved in any of those photos, right? No, no. Yeah, good. I no, didn't have any of those. We're way too charitable for that. <laughs> but I wanted to show yeah. you. Now, because the trajectory of a life. Is there a so look at this photo. Yeah. Who does, that looks like Sam, doesn't it? It does. This is me yes, in kindergarten. Does. You can tell by the 70s you know, kind of wardrobe <laughs> I have there. Exactly. The sweater. I hope. But if, if I you hope do that, my aunt gave that. That's. To you. That, yeah, I think. I think my mom made it actually. Um, yeah. That is Sam Ryan now. And also, we've heard so much about your dad. Mm -hmm. Found this yep. picture. Yep. Yep. That's my, that's my mom. You saw her last night. And that's my dad. Yeah. How much are you thinking of him in this moment? You know, a lot. I think about him quite a bit. Uh, he taught me a lot of things that stuck with me. Even though I was 16 when he passed away, um, he was a very ethical man. Uh, he really believed in academics and hard work uh, and just paving your way in life. And there were a lot of those things he would say that he'd say over and over again. We'd roll our eyes as kids at the time, but those things really stick with us. And by the way, we thought we were geniuses here because he's famously fit the vice presidential candidate. So we uncharacteristically had healthy snacks. And he told us the one thing he doesn't like, raisins, which we had here. He likes California, but not raisins. I want to go straight to ABC's John Carl, though, because all attention on Governor Romney tonight. And John, what is the crowd telling you they want to hear him say? Well, they see this as the biggest night of the entire campaign, Diane, and they want to hear about Mitt Romney, the man. The campaign believes that there will be upwards of 40 million people watching tonight. He will never have an audience that big again. They want to hear his story. And remember, Romney is one who isn't comfortable talking about his personal biography. He doesn't do it a lot. He's going to have to do it tonight because these people believe that the country is ready to fire Barack Obama, but they aren't yet sold on Mitt Romney. This is his single best opportunity to change that tonight. Talk about the pressure on him. Thank you, John. I want to turn to George Stephanopoulos. So, George, what are you hearing? Well, I, I, to pick up on what John was saying, you know, we talk, there's a lot of talk about Clint Eastwood being the surprise yes, tonight. Yes, yes. Mitt Romney has to be the surprise tonight. Huh. He has to come out tonight and show people, as John was saying, a side of himself not only that they haven't seen before, but that he doesn't really want to let them in on. One top Republican was saying he's got to write something into that speech that he doesn't want to say, that is hard for him to say, but to go out and do it anyway, tell the hard truths about himself. So it's got to be surprising enough that they think he went far. So he can capture the imagination of the public. All right. Of course, George and I will be right here all evening with the entire ABC News political team for the moment. Governor Mitt Romney takes the stage at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Sure want you with us tonight.